We did nothing wrong! Yeah, we did. We were supposed to fight for people who couldn't fight for themselves. The other day, we had the distinct honor and privilege, thanks to Miss Charlotte Nidell, who is a sister to very close friends, the Monarchs, Bill Monarch Sr., and his entire family, Lillian Monarch. And she arranged for me to catch up with Pastor Paul Fidena, one of my two spiritual grandfathers, who initially sowed the seed and planted the seed of the Word of God in the heart of Mr. Williams and as well as myself. And my other spiritual grandfather, of course, as I've said before, is Dr. Peter Ruckman. So it was those two gentlemen and their preaching and teaching that planted those initial seeds in the heart of Mr. Williams and myself. And I want to say it was a spiritually enriching conversation. It was great to catch up with Pastor Fidena. And as you can see here, I was able to dig up an old Bible from Faith Baptist Church, Levittown, Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, while Pastor Fidena was, in fact, the pastor there. You can get a screenshot of that. He was the pastor there for many decades. I believe this is from either the early 80s. It could be all the way up to the 90s, this particular Bible. It would have been the early 90s, but uh, it could have been anywhere for actually from the late 70s to the early 90s. And um, we want to say that render to all their dues. Once again, Romans 13, render tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom is due, fear to whom fear is due, honor to whom honor is due. And we appreciate the fact that Pastor Dennett is still out there preaching and teaching and getting involved in engagements and asking for engagements in his 90s. And uh, he's still sharp as can be. Uh, during the conversation, we could get that vibe. He was back and forth with me, and he's still well-versed in the scriptures and pray for our nation. He is concerned for our nation and its stand with Israel. And he would like to see us continue to be closely aligned with the nation of Israel, of course, being a Bible believer himself. So the first time I ever heard the preaching and teaching of the Word of God from the pulpit was Pastor Fidena and Mr. Williams the same. And thank you very much for your time. Just wanted to share that blessing with you all. And of course, Pastor Fidena agreed that at some point in the near future, he would like to come on to our channel and do some kind of an open dialogue, whatever he wants. He can preach, he can teach, or we could just have an open discussion of some sort. Wanted to share that with you folks and let you guys get a screenshot again of that Bible. And also, a Bible Believer's Bulletin that Pastor Fredena gave me, knowing that I was a young guy, very interested in manuscript evidence and subjects of sorts. And uh, here is a Bible Believer's Bulletin, Jack Hiles Takes Stand Against Alexandria. This Bible Believer's Bulletin was given to me by Pastor Fedena. And of course, you know, the Bible Believer's Bulletin is Dr. Ruckman's uh, monthly newsletter, or was Dr. Ruckman's monthly newsletter. And you can see the address right there, Reverend Paul Fedena from June of 1984. That is the original article that Pastor Fidena gave to me as a young guy interested in subjects such as manuscript evidence and the preservation of the Word of God in our native tongue, in the English language, the King James Version. That he's, Pastor Fidena has always taken a stand for the King James Version. And I just wanted to I also say that I thanked him for planting the seeds of the Word of God in my heart and preaching and teaching the Word of God, even though I was young and didn't really understand it, what it was, the seeds were there. And then later on through Mr. Williams and then Dr. Ruckman, um, it, it, indeed a blessing catching up with him. He is one of the two pastors that have baptized me. I was baptized initially by Pastor Fredena at a very young age. Don't believe I understood 
what it was I was doing. Later on, when I got saved by Mr. Williams's witness, or as a result of Mr. Williams's witness, and then visiting Dr. Ruckman's school, Dr. Ruckman baptized me uh, at a time when I believe I really genuinely was born again and saved. But anyway, the initial baptism was Pastor Fidena. The initial planting of the seed of the Word of God was by Pastor Fidena. And again, render to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute, custom to whom tr custom, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor is due. Romans chapter 13 just happens to be the passage that we talked about the other day. Have a blessed day. Thank you.